man. How can you let somebody play if your mind ain't renewed? That's right. And you don't know what you're trying to plead. Amen. Come on. You got to have a clear vision of what's there to write it down. Amen. Yeah, and yes, he will. Yeah. Amen. Oh, you got to be able to have your vision. Has to be clear. Yeah. Right. It has to be clear. Yeah. Amen. Our values. Amen. Know what our values are. Yeah. Amen. Teaching our children That's what good. values are. Yeah. Yeah. How can we teach them something right. if we haven't renewed our mind? Right. How can we tell you say please and thank you That's and right. bless you That's if we are not doing, not doing it? it. Amen. Right. How can we teach them those things? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We have to know what our values are to teach them to respect our elders. Well, Amen. Well. We have to tell them, you know, wear a slip under your skirt. Come Amen. On. We have to tell them the simple things like that. Right. Those are values yes, that we have to instill in our children. Right Amen. Right. Those are values. Yes. Amen. Yes. And our plans are regulated by God. That's right. They are. Our plans. They are. Yes. Amen. God, if we haven't renewed our mind, God is not going to even think about allowing our plan to go And it is not edifying the house of God. So why should he back up our plan? Amen. Your mind is not renewed. You don't even have the right plan in mind. So why do we expect God to back up a plan that we don't even have approved by him? Amen. It's full of this. It's full of that. God is not the author of confusion. Your mind is confused. Yeah. Amen. If it's not renewed and you're you're in the house of God, you're doing things that you used to do, yeah. and going back and forth. Yeah. Amen. Yep. The word of God says you're gonna love one or you're gonna hate the other. All right. Amen. Your mind has to be renewed to what you want to do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God is eternal. He's everlasting and he is the truth. Yes. Amen. Yes. The word tells us that Satan is the ruler of this world. Yes. Amen. Right. This world is temporary. Amen. Yes. But God is eternal. Yes. God. Yes. 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 The things of heaven is permanent. Yes. God is everlasting. Yes. Amen. He's, he's not going anywhere. Right. Amen. That's a good thing. Yes. Amen. Yes. We got to prove. That's a good thing. Right. Amen. Right. And how are we going to know that if we don't renew our mind? You're right. How are we going to know that? How, how are we going to say that God is able to deliver me? Come on. God is able to make me free. Yes, Amen. If we yes, don't read am. and believe the Come word of God. Yes. Amen. And we're going to go to the next scripture. It's Second Corinthians. Actually, I'm gonna, I want to go to Ephesians first. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4. Verses 23. Amen. God is good. Amen. Oh, my God. If we were stuck in that old mind frame, oh, my God. I don't even want to think about what we were the things that we used to do. Oh, my God. How can I even, if we get real, say, God, how can I even think about a thing? How can I even go forward with an action? How would I even able to... Even, even stand in that place in my life. How was I able to do that, God? Oh, hallelujah. God, how was I able? And but yet you still love me. Regardless of what I did and what I went through, you still love me. Amen. You still love me. Amen. In Ephesians 4 and 23. It reads, actually, I am going to read, I'm going to start at 17. I'm going to read 17 through 23. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 23. And this is Paul talking. He says, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Amen. I'm going to break that down real quick. The, when Paul is talking about walking in, like, not walking, not like the other Gentiles, in the vanity of their mind. Amen. Not thinking like them. 
Amen. This is everyday life he's talking about. Their walk, amen, not physically walking, but their everyday living, amen. This is their everyday living he's talking about. He says don't be like them, amen. Amen. It has to be a difference. Amen. He said, don't be like them. Don't, don't pick up their habits. Amen. Not praying. Amen. Not fasting. Amen. Not being loving. Amen. Not being kind. Amen. Not being giving. Amen. These are things that we are contrary to uh, uh, the mind being renewed. Amen. Because when we renew our mind, it's the, the new spirit of God. And then when we talk about the spirit, the spirit is love. The spirit is kind. The spirit is long-suffering. Amen. So when we talk, when we think about those things, Paul saying, do that. Don't do what you used to do. Right, Amen. Right. Don't do like the other Gentiles. Amen. And he says, having the understanding darkened. They can't, they can't understand it. Amen. That the mind was dark. Amen. It was unrenewed. Amen. You can have situations in your life that are so cloudy. You don't know what decision that you need to make. Amen. You don't know whether to go left or to go right. Amen. You just don't know. You say, well, God, I've been doing this. God, I've been doing that. Amen. But God, here I am. Do you see me now? Amen. You don't want to be in a place of doubt. Amen. That's a place of, that's a place of darkness. Amen. Because you're saying that God cannot do whatever it is that you need to have done. That's a dark place. He says, having the understanding dark, they're not understanding that God is light. They're not understanding that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Everything that we can imagine. They don't have that understanding, Sister Carl. They don't know it. He says, don't be that way. He says, being alienated from the life of God. Through the ignorance that is in them, yes. because of the blindness of their hearts, they're ignorant. They were ignorant. Right. We should be ignorant to the word of God, or the yes. things of God. Right. Amen. We should be ignorant, Amen, yes. to the to the the, uh, uh, the the devices of the enemy. Yes. Don't don't be ignorant to what Satan is Come trying to do, Amen. Recognize it. Yes. See what it is he's doing. Yes. If it's if it's not lining up with God. Amen. Then you, your next object is say, okay, let All me right. see if this Come on now. Come on. Okay, let me see if I'm getting any good yeah. out of this. Mm. Amen. Let me see where this is actually coming from. Yeah. He said they was eager, they was blinded in their heart. When you when your when your heart is blinded, that means your just think of your heart having eyes. Yeah. Amen. Your heart can't see. Amen. That's a dark place. Amen. We have to love with this heart. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't have eyes on that heart, then you can't love. Right. Amen. The, and, and love is the foundation of God. Yeah. Everything God does is about love. Yeah. Even when it's a dark day, yeah. it's still yeah. about love with God. Yeah. With God now. Yeah. Right. Amen. Make right. right. sure we understand who we're talking about. Even a dark day with God is a good day. Yeah. Amen. A dark day with God is a good day. But they were blinded in their hearts. Amen. It says, who being past feelings have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Amen. We know what lasciviousness is. Amen. We know what being unclean is. Amen. Those are things that we did when we when our mind was not renewed. When our mind is renewed, then we should be able to walk in a way that's clean, that is pleasing unto God. Amen. And with God, we are able to do it. Mother told us last night, 413, with, with Christ, we can do all things through him. Amen. So if we are able to do all things through him, then why can't we allow God to clean us up? Amen. Renewing in your mind, God, I've been this way for so long. How can you use me, God? God, I have been through so much. God, how are you able to let me uh, uh, do what I do for your people, God? God, how are you able to give me this new job? Amen. How are you able to do this in my life? Amen. How are you able to do your work in me, God, when I'm unclean? Amen. How are you able to clean me up, God? How did you do that? 
Amen. Allow God to cleanse you. He is able to yes, do that. Yes, yes, Amen. It says, but ye have not so learned Christ. If so, be that she have heard him. Paul is saying, either you have or you have. Basically. Either you're going to be, your mind is going to be clean or your mind is not going to be clean. Either you're going to renew your mind or you're going to keep the old mind. He said, if you know it, then you know it. Amen. Don't say you know it, but yet you're still doing the stuff we used to do. Your mind is not renewed yet. Paul said, it's got to be one or the other. He said, if you know, then do what you're supposed to do. Amen. It says, if so, be ye have heard him, heard his word. Heard what he's saying. Yes. Reading the yes. word. Yes. Knowing what he did. Yes. Amen. Hearing the spirit of God. Amen. And have been taught by him. Right. As the truth is in Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Yes. Yes. Not only is it in it, he is the truth. Yes. Oh, yes. glory to God. Yes. Jesus yes. is the truth. There is no faults in him. Right. Amen. All of Jesus is truth. Yes. Paul says, so if you know Jesus, yes. you heard Jesus. If you allow Jesus to teach you, your mind can be renewed. All right. Amen. 